Hello everyone, Andy Vatsa here. Now, some of you struggle to figure out how to play the pentatonic scale in different keys. And I have, luckily, a simple solution for you. Now, the first step is we need to learn all the notes on the E string. And you can find them here. Now that we know all the notes on the E string, the following step is to learn the first box of the A minor or C major scale. Now, the A minor and C major scale are the same scale. What it does it mean is, is whether if we're playing in A minor or in C major, we are playing with the same notes. These are the notes for the A minor or C major pentatonic scale. Notice how the first note is in the A, which is the root note of the A minor scale, whereas the second note is a C, which is the root note for the C major scale. Now, if we follow this logic, if we want to play, I don't know, in D major, what we need to do, we need to find D on the A string, which is on the 10th fret, and from there we play exactly the same pattern. Notice how the D major scale is also the B minor scale. Now, say that for instance we want to play in G minor, we look for G on the E string, which is on the 3rd fret, right? And from there, again, we play, we position our first finger and we play the same pattern as before. Notice how the G, ma G minor scale, sorry, is also the B flat major scale. Now, the problem is that by only using one box, we are a bit restricted with our options. What I mean is that, say that we have to improvise in A minor. We were limited with our options. Now, the, the easiest solution for this is to learn the boxes that come after and before the first box. Now, if we split the first box into halves, we have a left hand side half and a right hand side half. The right hand side half is also the left hand side half of the following box. <laughs> Whereas the left hand side of the first box is also the right hand side of the previous box. Now, if we combine all the three boxes together, we have more options than we had before. We can apply the same concept for every other key. For instance, if you want to play in D major, we can put our third finger on D and play the first box. And 
then use the following box and the previous box. Or we can do the same in the G minor scale. I hope this helps to understand how to play the pentatonic scale in different keys. It is important to note that there are two more pentatonic boxes. However, this is a simple and effective way to build a strong foundation for your pentatonic soloing. If you liked this lesson, please leave it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This will help me grow and provide more content that will help you improve your guitar playing. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.